Hello everybody and welcome back to Warplan, where we are playing as the Axis, and we have just achieved a pocket in the north uh, with the majority of the British Expeditionary Force around Lille and Antwerp, we're calling it the Antwerp Pocket. Uh, we've cut it off, and we've also extended, ex extended? Uh, extended our line down south solidly, uh, and we're going to start pushing down here with our Reserve Corps uh, starting to shuffle in to give us a decent uh, a decent backup here to reduce the Antwerp pocket uh, is the plan. Uh, because uh, we are not going to let the British Expeditionary Force get off or get back to their island. We're not going to let them get on their transports. They're going to die on mainland Europe because uh, they do have another one down here along with a command unit that did not get through there, so we're just going to keep rolling down south, try and take Paris as quickly as possible, uh, and then start trying to cut off the Maginot line entirely. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and end the turn. Let's hope we can keep the pocket closed. His, uh, our weakest Panzer Corps is uh, holding it down right now. We did damage a lot of these frontline units with uh, concentrated air. Last time. Okay, it looks like they're reinforcing down south. Maybe the French government's trying to uh, to make a stand, like, around here, maybe? Uh, I'm not sure. They pulled all their air back, but uh, that's not going to help them. So, yeah. They do have a small line here, but that line's not going to save them. It is over a river, but it's only partially protected by the river. Uh, so, let's go ahead and just... Hit them. Concentrated assault there as much as we can. Then down south. Okay, that forced them back. Okay. Let's have you there. Alright. We are extending the line as much as we can. Okay. Push that French troop back. Let's also hit this British unit. Which allows us to move forward. Have you hold the rear there. Continue to reduce this pocket. Okay, there we go. First British Corps surrenders. So now we've got another French Corps surrendered. And there goes last British unit here. And another French unit there. Okay, push back. All right, and they're holding there. We'll give them that uh, port just to go back in there. We'll have this. Uh, Panzer Corps, which has been spent pretty heavily, uh, you kind of pull back a little bit, uh, just so we don't lose it. Not going to attack there. Okay, cavalry unit will hold that flank. Have you go there. Uh, and we're just going to hold up. We're going to hold off on the air for a bit because we're getting a bit low on our oil reserves. We're down to just over 200, so I want to wait uh, on that. Uh, we did finish a couple other core of infantry, but we're not going to need them as much. So I'm going to have them shift over here for use on the eastern front when that becomes a thing. Okay, uh, what we're also going to do, because it's going to be a thing soon, we're going to make sure that the Italians have some more 
uh, infantry core. Let's get an assault. Another assault. And an anti-tank. Uh, we're also going to go ahead and actually do a trade. I mean, we can't because they're still... I think they're still... Can we trade just a little bit of oil? I'm thinking three oil. Yeah, no. They're neutral. So we'll have to wait for them to actually join, but I was going to give them a little bit of oil so that we could build up a stockpile for their uh, uh, attack into North Africa. But yeah, major reduction in the Antwerp pocket. It's now made up of two French infantry corps. One's an Indo-Chinese uh, corps. Uh, and we've got pretty much an open road down south here, uh, and along the coast here. The British still have an unknown, uh, they have, uh, the second corps, uh, next to the Maginot line, uh, which is about ready to be flanked, really. There's almost nothing here. There's one command unit, and then just, just air units, so that's, it's pretty undefended. Uh, so yeah, things are going well for us. Let's go ahead and end the turn. Okay. What do we got? I'm still amazed, by the way, that uh, basically I'm getting over a thousand FPS on this game, <laughs> for according to according to Bandicam. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I mean, I know it's not like a super hard game to run, but uh, the USSR concludes a mutual assistance pact with the Baltic states to allow Soviet bases within their country. Ooh, they're going to... Oh, yep. They, uh... They just took that. Alright. Got another mountain core. Go down south there. Second Folschemakers are about ready. Alright, let's finish off what's left of the French in this pocket. There we go. French have been dealt with. Let's just go ahead and push all of these units down south. Just have you garrison Rot uh, Rotterdam. Okay. Okay, they did rush a whole bunch of infantry down here to try and stop us from cutting off the Maginot. Rushed you back, which is actually kind of ant uh, antithetical to their plans, because now... You can just move across. Effectively, totally cutting off... The Maginot line. They can move in to try and attack us along this, but they won't be able to, to do it effectively. What we can do, though, is we can attack on three sides here. Not knock it out. Can't try and use our air on this guy, though. See if we can knock out this French unit. Push them back. That French armor right there is not gonna budge for now. Shift you up there. Okay, there we go. That sets us up for next round if they don't move this armor to hit them on four sides. We continue pushing along here towards Paris. Along this river, which I don't actually know what... what river this is called, because I don't know my French uh, geography as well. Just keep shifting our units, supporting our flanks as much as possible. That port...
Okay. Yeah, things are looking good. Just keep shifting things down. We got. Uh, we want to try and cut off the Maginot, and then keep sweeping down into the uh, into the country. Okay. And and the turn, I think. Yeah, and the turn. June 7th, 1940. A little British air. Increases preparation of war due to the concerns of the Western Islands not being able to contain Germany. Yeah, I thought so. Second Fallschirmjäger. You to Leipzig. Yeah, we got nothing for the Germans to build up because they're spending a lot of, of their production on getting the shipyards ready uh, and the 1st SS Panzer Division. But they didn't really do a lot. They shifted some of their infantry over here to try and protect Paris after seeing that they basically got Ma the Maginot is, is cut off, which makes sense. Uh, so we're just gonna close it up here, give them letter, uh, less chance to maneuver. Okay. So now they are totally cut off. There's nothing for them to be able to do, really. What we're gonna do is start shifting our units down south, forming this line. Try to give us a bit more. Let's keep pushing down the coast with our boys. There we go. Okay, the armor's pushed down that way. Let's go ahead and look at possibly... Supply for an attack. All of our boys here. Okay, okay. That helped a bit. One more. Got it! They surrendered. Okay, so there goes the French armor outside Paris. Pushed out another... French infantry unit. So we're starting to encircle Paris. Maginot's encircled. We'll try and break some of the flanks of the Maginot. I mean, it's kind of going. Okay, there we go. Broke that. Shift down south. Uh, the uh, front has condensed a little bit. So we'll keep reducing the Maginot down. Uh, we're going to shift our... I didn't mean to supply them. We're going to shift our Marines to Brussels. Along with our... Fulshamjägers. Have them start preparing around Lille and, and Antwerp and Brussels for their eventual assaults into southern England. Also shift all of our air over here. Because we are going to start our air campaign against the Battle of Britain once we get a chance. We might also start, uh, once we get our uh, production back up, we'll start looking into uh, building up uh, an air force. Get some air superiority fighters, uh, some ground attack, tack air, maybe even some strategic air built up. I would like to go ahead and uh, overwhelm the Royal Air Force. 
uh, start targeting some of their air groups here just to kind of sweep that out, uh, get air superiority over the channel and get across. But uh, we can make it without air superiority. It's just a lot more risky. Uh, so, yeah, I think we can go ahead and end the turn here. On the near the end of June, 1940. Okay. Another advancement for the Germans. Yeah. French are abandoning the Maginot. Moving back from Paris. Not looking great for them. So let's see what we're going to do here. We're going to go ahead and rush down south with this flank. See what we see. Right around Vichy. Let's think about maybe doing a concentrated assault on the flank here. Again, just trying to roll up this flank. Try and supply them all for one good run, one more good attack. Okay. Almost. Nope. Alright, we'll hold from there. Cut off breast from the rest of the country. Get around behind Paris. Try and break this defensive line. There we go. Another French unit surrenders. There we go. Okay, now we're attacking Paris directly. We're attacking their hit points directly. Uh, <laughs> even I thought that was a bit cringy. Okay, we're going to risk it. We're going to move the armor down this way. Hit them. Okay. Okay. Gives us a pretty decent control of France here. We're directly attacking Paris. We've got it almost surrounded. It's got a little bit of connection down here, but we're pushing through with the panzers and infantry in this uh, area. We're pushing down south towards Lyon. Uh, Lyon. Uh, maybe they'll ungarrison this area and uh, allow the Italians to push in. We'll see, uh, but the vast majority of the French and even what's left of the British Expeditionary Force are stuck on the Maginot Line and cannot move out. So that's great. Isn't history fun? Uh, before we actually go, I think uh, the next turn, let's go ahead and start the Battle of Britain early. We're going to focus on these airfields here with our bombers. the number three bomber group in our sights. Okay. Decent amount of damage I'm fairly certain we did. Yeah. Okay. Next turn. I think the French just 
got a new unit to to deploy in your Paris. Oh, yeah, there they go. I thought they might try and rush through that little gap. It's not a big deal. Okay, Bessarabia. Supply. Okay, we do have a specialty point. Let's go ahead and give it to these guys. I'd like them to be heavy artillery. Because they're going to be going to Brest. Looks like they didn't need it. <laughs> Those guys melted. Uh, okay. Taking Leon. South here. Okay, nothing there. Okay. Gonna have the Falschmagers move over here just to make sure they don't try and kill us. You're defending there. Uh, Alright. Let's go ahead and have you guys... All attack. Try and break the French defender defenders around Paris. All right. Let's go ahead and supply all these troops with some trucks. Just give us what we can do. Just do one more push. Nothing. Over here as well. Just to give us a little bit extra chance. There we go. That severely decreases their ability of breaking out of Paris. And right around here, I'll go ahead and just hit them, which melts that unit. Start going down south and west. Okay, that command unit's getting hurt pretty bad. All right. I would like to swap out this core with this uh, cavalry core next turn. Get the cavalry core down here to try and race down, get their aircraft before they get them to. Well, I guess I don't know. I, I just don't want them to have it out kind of in the open like that. Uh, oh, we do have a Cossack uh, cavalry ready to go. Go ahead and put them there for the Yugoslavian uh, campaign when that happens. She did open up more of our production. That's good. Uh, we still have a couple more turns. Three more turns for the Bismarck, which will open up uh, quite a bit. Uh, and eight more turns for the 1st SS Panzer uh, Division. Or 1st uh, SS Panzer Corps. Uh, let's keep hitting this airfield. Hoping that we can break this bombing group sooner rather than later we're doing damage to it that's the point point. and we'll hold off on you we are getting low on our oil reserves though for offensive actions uh, let's go to another turn see what happens Okay, some air combat there. Looks like the French are trying to counterattack on our western uh, western extent of our advance. Pushing up. Pulled back a little bit here because they saw the Falschmjägers. 
But you can go ahead and attack from three sides there, do a little bit of damage. What we are going to do is do a full attack. We are going to pull you back, put you there. We're going to do a full attack on Paris. Which the garrison surrenders, and we take Paris. Shift down south a little bit. Uh, do uh, an attack here. Taking out the third army HQ. Have you shift down south. You take that position. You take that one along with you. Get this. Uh, victory at Vichy. you there. All right. Yeah, with Paris gone, I think we're going to win this. I don't think there's going to be a chance of them pulling through. Uh, and the Bismarck is done. So we're going to go ahead and... Uh, or no, it's not the Bismarck's not done. The Italian forces are done. Just deployed a couple of core there. Let's get our air phase done. Keep hammering on the number three bomb group. Try and knock him out. Let's see if we can knock him out with fighters on the ground. Yeah, no. All right. Also move the fighters a bit more forward. Just give us a bit extra there. And this mountain group will send over there. Okay, looks like that's going to be the end of that turn. And we have almost completely taken over northern France. We've taken Paris. The Maginot is completely cut off. Uh, we've begun our action uh, our, uh, the Battle of Britain to try and knock out the uh, Royal Air Force. We've been hammering the number three bomb group for a couple of turns now. They must be feeling the pain. Uh, hopefully in the next couple of turns we'll also be able to go ahead and put uh, some more points into our Air Force. I would love to go ahead and pick up some air superiority fighters uh, and some more tactical air uh, Hopefully a strategic bombing tactical air to help us, uh, but we'll have to see. Either way, that's going to be the end of this episode. Thank you for joining me for this episode. If you'd like to please leave a comment down below, hit the like button. If you want to support the channel, consider the subscribe button down below. As well as take a look at the description down below where I have links to my Discord and my Patreon page. But I'll see all of you in the next episode. Bye.